you must die to me. The journey of life entails a give and take attitude to the challenges we face. We sacrifice something to gain something else. We lose something to win something. It's a continuous system of exchange. We exchange weakness for strength and give strength for weakness. For every relationship and venture, there are a series of exchanges going on. We are constantly giving and taking, dying and leaving. An expectant mother gives her strength for the birth of her child and takes her weakness and vulnerability in the process. A man falls in love and gives her strength to energize a relationship. He trusts the woman and makes himself vulnerable or weak for the sake of the relationship and sane for the woman. When we trust, we are exchanging our strength for weakness. It is as though we are saying, hey, although we have the strength to carefully challenge what you tell me, but in this case, I lay my strength aside and I trust you. And there's a story I need you to know about. A widow had an only child who was sick. She went to various hospitals to find a cure for her child and ended up in one hospital that promised to save the child. However, the money they asked for was beyond the woman's reach. She begged and asked for a discount, but the hospital told her there's a long queue and she must start the treatments or else this child will not make it in the next two weeks. She then took on three jobs and labored to pay her son's hospital bills, but it wasn't enough and time was running out as the child was getting more sick. Finally, she took a decision that helped her raise the money and so the treatment began. And after another thorough examination, the specialist declared the child is free from the disease. She took the child home and they both had a great meal and thanked God. She continued to labor with three jobs and sent her child to university. And behold, her child became a successful businessman, owning a chain of companies in the town. One day, the child got a call at his board meeting that the mother had collapsed at home and was very sick at the hospital. He quickly left the board meeting and rushed to the hospital. To get him there, he was called to the office of the specialist who told him, Your mom is very sick and will die anytime soon. Why? he asked. Why? The specialist then told him that one kidney was damaged. He asked, How about the other kidney? The specialist said, They only saw one. He rushed to his mom and asked her about the other kidney. Her mom, with tears rolling down her eyes, told him, I sold my other kidney to raise money for your treatment when you were sick as a child. The child asked mom, why? Why did you do it? She said, while in his arms, my joy and the life I gained was seeing you alive and doing well. I'm happy. There is no need to be sad, son. You made your mommy proud. The child in tears told her, I don't want you to go, please. But she said, if I hadn't done this, I would have lost you. And no matter how long I had lived, I would have died inside of me. You gave me life and joy. I lived my dreams through you. As she spoke, she became more weak and her clutch slowly gave as she said her last words. I love you, son. She closed her teary eyes and smiled and died in his arms. She died to give him life. She could have kept her life to watch her son die. To some of us, our joy is seeing our children come alive and successful. That's what gives us life. That is what makes us joyful. Life wouldn't be complete without identifying what makes us come alive. What are you ready to die for? To some musicians, they died on stage while performing. Some sportsmen died on the pitch. What are you ready to die for? This is a story that is happening every day and all over the world. In the United States, in Japan, in Nigeria, in Venezuela, South America, you name it. Parents, siblings, friends, family members are dying every day to give life to so many people because they care. We live in the joy of seeing our children, our family, our friends make it in life. We die to live. She died but a life and the life of her son. She died but living her dreams, her joy and seeing her son alive. What are you ready to die for? What are you ready to die for? Perhaps it's not your children or family. Perhaps you have a dream. You have always wanted to accomplish a dream that gives you life. What talents and skills do you have that you are ready to die for? The dying may mean you're devoting more time for your skills. Be more patient at the job you're in right now to gain more experience. You might be groaning, this pain is killing me. Yes, the pain of making your dream come true might be killing you. But hey, there is light at the end of the tunnel. 
Hey, you must die to live. Great men in history had had to die for a cause. You may be going through a lot in a relationship for a worthy cause. Stay at it and inherit your weakness or pain for strength and joy. When we say we're helpless or weak, it means we choose not to defend ourselves. We are the mercy of the situation. When two people decide to give each other their strength, they are both strengthened. But it's not always the case. Why do relationships die? Because someone took the strength of the other and refused to strengthen him or her in return. That's why we use the word cheated. This transaction was not honored by a body. You might ask, what is strength and what is weakness? A strength could be a resource, a talent, valuable time, a skill or positive emotional character you possess. And what is weakness, you may ask, a place in your life, emotional void, hurt or pain, or even a society or community that needs enablement and help. A weakness could be in the area of financial need. Perhaps you need to pay your bills, help your parents and family. Oftentimes, a place of weakness holds a level of embarrassment and reproach. It casts a level of uncertainty in your life. The world naturally picked a weakness, but only a few would like to exchange their strength, which could be money or expertise, for the weakness you possess. You see, we're all like bangs or bands, having one resource or another to offer. Everyone is born with a resource to offer, a strength to exchange for a great ambition. It might take a while to see and appreciate the strength you have, but the truth remains, you have a strength in you, a life to offer. However, everyone was born with a weakness. There is an area in your life you need someone's strength. Every day strength is acquired and exchanged. Weakness is given and exchanged. Do you want to live? Then kill your fear of death and doubt. Do you wish to live? Then you must die. You must die to doubt and unbelief. Do you wish to live? Then you must die to fear. Do you wish to live? Then you must die to self-hate and bitterness. Something in you must die for something else to live. Because there's a battle in all of us. A battle between our divine call and destiny and the position of doubt, hate and hopelessness. The struggle constantly lives us in a state of battle in which something must give way. If you wish to win a good trophy in your life, be ready to die to the spirit of failure and live to witness your dreams come true. Get ready to die so you can live. Now is the time to die if you want to live. Make those dreams come alive. Make those plans come alive. You have one life to live. Use it and live.